Good morning, it's Friday, August 7th, and I'm still Kevin Ryan. What I want to talk about this morning just a little bit is the early development design process that I go through. I have a screen here that has all the artwork that's in the game right now, so let me, let me zoom in on the screen. What I have laid out here is all the artwork that's currently being used in the game. So the startup logos, the, the main screen, the two tutorial pages, the results one, where you choose the play area you're going to play. The actual play area, and it's just a flat screen right now with the buttons just built into the artwork. And then these are my sprites. And this blank one here, this white one, is the uh, highlight, highlight area. And it's the alpha channel set, so it, it's translucent, so it, it you know, will highlight the green. But anyway, when I'm first starting on, on the games, I'm really concerned about how it plays. And I have ideas for the artwork in my head. And artwork's very important because that really is how you sell the game. The consumer will see the artwork and they'll, they'll go for what looks good. But in the early stages, I have in my head what I, the ideas that I have, what it's going to look like, but I'm more concerned about how it plays. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. It's, I'm going to make stuff that's just, just like this, that's obvious placeholder. And, and in lots of cases, that's good because if you make stuff that looks too good, but it's not really final. Some people may think it's final when it's not final or it's just placeholder. So this lets me do what I need to do to make sure the game plays the way I want it to play. Once I have the game playing well, then I'll go in and make sure that all the artwork is really good. But um, there's no sense in putting a lot of time in a piece of artwork if it's for some gameplay element of the game that you, you end up not even using. So I, I really like to prototype and get the game running so it's like, oh, here's the game and it's really close to the, the final state. You may be tweaking gameplay stuff. So anyway, there's the artwork and a little bit about how, how I go about developing it. Well, I was working on the gameplay code, tweaking things, and got an email that said, your app is ready for sale. There it is, Buggle. Green light, ready for sale. So Buggle's out on the App Store now, except if I click the link to go to the App Store and see it, this message pops up. Your request not completed. The item you've requested is not currently available in the US store. It takes it a few hours to work its way through all the Apple servers, so sometime later this evening, hopefully, it will show up in the store. So anyway, I gotta take a little break from coding to to get a little marketing stuff together for the app to, to post a blog and announce it and stuff. So, short break from work on the new game to do just a little marketing on the old one, then we'll be back to work on, on this one. I got unexpectedly sidetracked today because Buggle came out on the App Store. I was, wasn't thinking it would be out for roughly a week from now, so I had to quickly, I wrote up a blog to put on the Garage Game site, which, which is here little embedded YouTube video that shows off the Buggle game. And it just had went, made sure I adjusted the date that it shows up in the store. Um, because you want to make sure you get the release day right so it shows up at the top of the new release thing. So, oops, let me adjust this up here. And then I also had to, my son had a few hours of football practice 20 minutes down the mountain from here at Sierra High School, so. Didn't get quite as much done as I wanted to do, but I'll show you what, what I did today. I didn't get a whole lot done today. One thing I added was I wanted the sheep to flee from the dog if he gets close to him, so you can herd him into the thing just by moving towards them. So there, I moved him in. Let's go over here. So if you get within a certain distance, the sheep will flee the dog. And then if you bark, you can scare them from farther away. I also adjusted the speed of the sheep. So you can see they're moving faster now. Dog won't run, run. Let's see if we can get this guy in. Like that? Let's see if that does it. Oh, got him in. Then the last sheep here. There, got him all in. Okay, so that, that's, that's it for today. Not a whole lot done. Uh, just added a few things. Oh, and I added double clicking for, to make the dog bark. I don't know if I like that, though. Um, and it's not quite working. There's some problems with it. But I, I was considering getting rid of the bark button and just letting you tap, tap to bark, and it would make the screen just a little less cluttered. Anyway, that's it for today. Upload it.
starting again tomorrow morning, Saturday.